And let's have that our heart cry this evening as we hear the word of God. Amen. He is so good. I am thankful for his word. Don't ever let that desire go and hunger for the deep, deep things of God. The deeper things. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We'll have Sister Becky hear the word. Good evening. Good evening. It's kind of intimidating to see all these faces. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Okay. I shared part of this <clears throat> with the, the drama team in our last practice, and I'm going to expound a little bit more on it. So it'll be a little bit different twist for some of you that's already heard this. Yeah. But how this all came about, um, I just, I'm going to share some things that God's been working on me on. And how many of you, of you guys have seen uh, that movie, Facing the Giants? You, you know the part where um, you know, the coach is kind of really down and out. He's about to lose his job and his whole world has just come crashing down on him. And so he finally goes to the Word and finally kind of digs into it. And he kind of gets a plan together, so to speak, for lack of a better word. And um, he goes to his team and, and he tells them what the new team motto is and, and just about how that they're going to do their best no matter what. They're going to always give God the glory, but no matter what they do, they're going to do their best. And their best doesn't mean they have to win. It doesn't mean that they have to, um, you know, be the best team as far as the, you know, the rankings go. But they just have to give God their best. And so I was kind of watching that. And then, you know, the scene where the, uh, I think the guy's, the kid's name's Brock. And so he's kind of mouthing off in practice. And so he makes him do the death crawl. And I don't know how many of you guys have played football, but it looks pretty hard. <laughs> and um, he tells him all he's got to do is just, he said he's got to carry another guy in his pack, and he just has to make it to the 50-yard line, and he blindfolds him. And so, you know, this, this kid Brock's asking, why are you blindfolding him? And he said, because I want you to give your very best. I don't want you to look around. I don't want you to, <coughs> to see um, where you're going. I just want you to do your best. So, long story short, and this doesn't give away the whole movie here, but, but you know, the coach gets down with him, and he crawls with him, and just keeps talk, you know, talking to him, give me your best, give me your best, just do your best. And uh, this this kid, Brock, you know, he's saying, but it's hard, and I'm tired, and he goes, I, I know, you know, and it hurts, but just keep going, just give your best. And so he keeps going, and long story short, you know, he reaches the 50-yard line, but he keeps going, and he's in the end zone. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so the moral of that story is he gave his best. He didn't, you know, stop where what was required of him. He gave his best. So that's kind of what, um, and that, that was kind of what I was talking to with the drama team about, was just to give our best. And there were some different areas that we touched on. But I think there's some different areas that, that I think that everybody in the church including myself, and I, sometimes I even hear when I go to do stuff, was at your best. <laughs> so, so my question to, to you guys is, why do we go to church? You know, what's the purpose of it? Why do we go? You know, we go to get our spiritual batteries recharged. We go to hear, you know, what, what the word is that God gives us. We take our children to learn about God and to kind of reinforce those values that we're placing on them. And, but, you know, do we do we go just to say, I went to church, <laughs> I'm a churchgoer, or do we go just to say, you know, well, that, you know, God requires me to go to church, so, you know, I went to church. Yeah. You know, and, and the Bible does say that in Hebrews 10, 25, it says, don't forsake the assembly of ourselves together. So, you know, God does require us to go to church, so that's a requirement, but is that our best? So, um... So what does God expect for, from us while we're at church? You know, what, what would be his best that, that he expects from us? You know, he expects us to turn our, you know, give our lives 100% completely over to him. He wants us to live for him, spread his word. 
uh, in Matthew 28, 19 through 20, if you guys want to turn there. Let me know what there. It says, Go ye therefore and teach all my nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and in the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. So, this scripture is not just for preachers, it's not just for Pastor Brian or Pastor Tammy, you know, uh, but, it, but it's for every one of us. Not every one of us is called to be a minister or to be an evangelist or a worship leader, a youth leader, but we all are called to do something for God. We all can agree on that, right? Okay. Um, 2 Chronicles 15, 7 says, Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. So another question I have for you, I think I've already asked it, I'm going to ask it again. What you're doing for God is at your best. Something kind of, I mean, it, it, it kind of hits deep, doesn't it, when you, <laughs> when you think about it. I mean, is, is that your very best? Like, well, you know, do you pray your best? You know, or, or do you say, you know, I pray that it didn't rain today. I prayed. <laughs> I sang Jesus loved me to my to my little one, so I worship today. <laughs> but is it your best? I read the scripture of the day. If it was that the best reading of your Bible that you could do? <laughs> but you know, sometimes, you know, and I'll be honest with you. I mean, sometimes. Reading the scripture of the day I thought was my best. I opened the word I read. <laughs> but it's not. You know, I I think I would, would want more than that. For, well, I know God wants more than, than that for me. Um, and are you giving your best to your church? You know, are, are you worshiping your best? You know, when you worship, is it is it your best? Or are you trying to sing louder than your neighbor? Or, you know... Worrying about so, sister so and so being on key or, or whatever, but you know, are you doing your best? <laughs> you know, if we come to church just to say that that we went to church, um, you know, and just to soak up whatever the whatever the the pastor is saying or whatever, and we don't do nothing with that, and you know, we don't produce food from that, we're not doing our best for God. Um, and we're not doing what he's called us to do. Uh, Deuteronomy 4.24 says, For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. So God is very jealous as to what takes up our time. You know, our time is not our time. It's God's time. You know, our lives are not our lives. Our lives are God's lives. So he expects our best in every single area of our lives. Um... 1 Samuel 12, 24 says, Only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all of your heart. For consider how great things he hath done for you. So, um, God doesn't expect us to, you know, like, just sacrifice something to just be sacrificing it. He expects us to, to give every single part of our lives to him. And what we give to him to give 100%. And, you know, Galatians 6, 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap, if you faint not. You know, Jesus gave our lives to us, and that's something he could, we can never repay back to him. Um, so, we can, he definitely deserves the best in our lives. So, in my whole summary here, I, I pass out a challenge. Um, examine the things in your life. You know, every every area of your life. Are you giving your best to your church? Are you giving your best in reading and studying your word? Are you giving your best in praying? You know, and not just for the things that you need. It's very important that we lift up our pastors. We lift up our church. We lift up the members of our church um, in, in our country. You know, I mean, it's just, it's very important that we spend time in prayer alone with God. And during that time, he'll speak to us and point things out in his word that that would, or that does cover the areas of your life, our lives that we're struggling. 
Are you doing your best in serving? Everyone is called to serve. John 12, 26 says, If any man serves me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. So, you know, even cleaning the toilets, you know, do your best. You know, I'm not doing this just because I have to do this or I have to do this to be able to serve breakfast. But it's give your best to, to God. You know, and, and God does honor that. So I just challenge you to look at every area of your life and just say, is, is that the best I can give God? Amen. Amen. That was an excellent, excellent word. It is very, very encouraging. And I pray that encouraged you and built you guys up this evening and saw the importance of us as a body and coming together and being connected to, to, to the house that you're in and being doers of the word and being a part of church. And you're a vital, vital part. Every single one of you is a vital part, whether you realize it or not. Everyone is. Every, we need the whole body. Every joint supplies in the body of Christ. Every joint. It's not the, the, that person, that person, that person, but not them over there. No, it's every joint supplieth in the body of Christ. So you are part of that, and we need everyone on board to accomplish the vision of the house, what he has specific for Broken Change Church. Amen. There's a vision that God's given this house to do. Yes, we, we're, we're a go-ye. We go and make disciples of all nations. You know, we see the the sick healed and the blind. We give the vision through God. He uses his mightily to do those things. And so we get to be a part of that and see lives forever change. So get get connected. Get connected. Amen. Well, we have just a little bit left tonight, and we're going to pray. So I'm just going to take, if anybody has any prayer requests, we're going to pray for those things tonight. And.